In 1755, man began to record the storm activity on the sun, solar cycle 10, lasted for 11.3 years, from December 1855 until March 1867. During this cycle, the solar storm of 1859, also known as the Carrington Superstorm was the most powerful sunstorm ever recorded. From 28 August, 1859, until 2 September, numerous sunspots and solar flares were observed on the surface of the sun. Just before noon on 1 September, the British astronomer Richard Carrington witnessed the largest solar flare ever recorded. The solar flare ejected a plasma cloud that traveled from the surface of the sun for just over 18 hours before finally reaching the Earth. As the dawn broke on 1 September 1859, the skies all over planet Earth erupted in red, green, and purple lights, so brilliant that newspapers could be read as if it were daylight. Stunning northern lights pulsated at the tropical latitudes over Cuba, the Bahamas, and Jamaica. Telegraph systems worldwide went haywire, spark discharges shocked telegraph operators and set the telegraph paper on fire. Even when the telegraph operators disconnected the batteries powering the lines, electric currents in the wires still allowed messages to be transmitted. A sunstorm of this sort today could cause billions of dollars of damage to the Earth's satellites and terrestrial power grids, and disrupt radio and cell phone communications. In the 160-year recorded history of geomagnetic storms, the Carrington event is the biggest.